Welcome back everyone to learn invitation today we're in dynamics and we're going to solve problem 15.60 okay it says this k has a mass of two kilograms and it's sliding forward on the smooth surface with a velocity va1 equals to five meters per second when it strikes the four kilogram disc b which is sliding towards a at a bv sub one equal to two meters per second with direct central impact if the coefficient of restitution between the disk is e equals to 0 0.4 compute the velocities of a and b just after the collision all right so what we have in here is basically the first uh diagram of this disk a and b so we got this k and we got this b and they're telling us well as mentioned before this a is going at five meters per second going towards our right and this b is going towards our left at two meters per second okay so the first thing i like to do in these videos let's just write out our givens and we will go from there okay so the first thing that they're giving me is that the mass of a is equal to two kilograms um and they also tell me that the velocity at point one of, is going to be equal to five meters per second okay mass b of my disc b is equal to four kilograms and its initial velocity Is equal to two meters per second however as in we can see in the figure it's going to the left therefore I'm going to put a negative since I'm going to assume for all my problems that going to the right is positive okay so we got this and the last piece they give me is that the coefficient of restitution is going to be equal to 0 0.4 all right so after we have this, well, we're in chapter 15 where we're doing the conservation of energy, linear momentum, and also the restitution between um, the coefficient of restitution. Therefore, we're going to utilize these two equations in here to solve my problem. This one, which is the conservation of linear momentum and our coefficient of restitution equation, okay? So we're going to start with the conservation of linear momentum, so conservation of linear momentum. And for this one, well, we're basically utilizing this equation and where we have to do the summatory of the masses times the velocity in the initial state. So, well, we have two masses. Let's start with mass one, um, again, going to the right is going to be positive so mass one which is mass of um, mass of a it's two kilograms multiplied by its velocity well five meters per second plus the mass of b four kilograms multiplied by its initial velocity which is negative two meters per second and this has to be equal to again the summatory of all the masses times all its velocity at our final state or our second state so for our second state we're looking after the collision well the masses don't change so the mass of a is still two the velocity of a we don't know it that's what we're trying to find plus the mass of b multiplied by the velocity of b and its second state okay so now what i'm going to do is that we have this equation i'm going to clean it up a little bit first of all i'm going to take this right side and I'm basically I'm going to put it on the left side so we got two times the velocity of a and the second then we got four times the velocity of b in the final state has to be equal to and then I'm going to plug this into my calculator and this should give me a total of two okay so now we have one equation however we got two unknowns so we got one and two unknowns and only one equation therefore we gotta utilize the second equation which is the equation for the coefficient of restitution okay which is this one 1511 so we're gonna go ahead and utilize this equation we know the value of e which is equal to 0 0.4 so we got 0 0.4 is equal to the velocity of b at its second state minus the velocity of a at its second state divided by the velocity of a initial and that one we know which is equal to 5 meters per second minus 
the velocity of b in its initial, which is negative 2, since it's going to the left. Okay, so for this one as well, going to the right is positive. I'm sorry that I wrote it like after we finished writing the equation, but um, it's okay. I'm going to write out, uh, solve for this equation a little bit more to have a general form just like this one. So we're going to have that negative, the velocity of a squared plus the velocity of b, no square, I'm sorry, and its second state has to be equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by 7, right? So the addition between these two is equal to 7, and then we are going to pass it to multiply by 0 0.4. Again, this will be equal to uh, 2.8 when we plug it into our calculator, and here is our second equation, okay? So we got one, two unknowns, and we got one, two equations. So now we can utilize um, any type of uh, system that you like to solve a system of equation. I like utilizing matrices. That's why I set it up in this way. So I have my first variable, my second variable, first variable, second variable, and then I have my numbers without variables on the other side of the equation. Whenever we solve this, as I, as I said before, I solved this by using matrices. I found out that the velocity of A after the collision is equal to negative 1.533 meters per second. And the velocity of B after the collision is equal to 1.267 meters per second. And these two are our final answers. For the velocities of our discs okay so one one thing I'll, I would like you guys to notice is that my velocity of a is negative meaning that it's going to the left and my velocity of B is positive meaning that it's going to the right all right so I hope you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one